So I wanted to find out how much better pro players actually are compared to the average player. I've gathered up some of the best players in the world to go head to head against some of my subscribers. I don't think they know what they're in for. The format is simple. They're going to play 1v1 and whoever has the most kills wins. So as for brawler selection, the first match is going to be a skilled brawler, like a sharpshooter, like Piper, Colt, Brock, Bell, etc. Whatever. And the second and potentially third match are going to be subscribers choice. So whatever brawler they feel as if they have the highest chance to win. I told my subscribers that if they win one round, they win a brawl pass, but they don't know that honestly, I'm just going to give them a brawl pass just for playing. So anyway, guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's hop into the first match. Okay. And here we go into our first match. Now we do have professional player Bobby Brawl Stars, who you know played in the world championship. This guy is a world-class talent going up against uh going up against r is rx i can't even see his name okay it's rx i'm just an idiot and uh so basically i agreed to have them play piper on this one they're not using the curveball gadget it's just straight up who can hit their shots and who can pop off the most uh, pretty much he's got rx pinned all the way to the corner both players gonna tap him bobby picks up the first kill he hits another tap coming out of spawn bobby playing with an unsanctioned amount of aggression has him pinned up against the wall finds another shot rx can't seem to find a way out bobby choking shots left and right and he's already up three kills to zero bobby with another tap bobby finds another kill seven to nothing absolutely putting on a show well a show for everyone except for rx who is just trying to do his best here gets tapped again he's trying to wiggle trying to find a way to do some damage to get a kill bobby picks up another kill bro oh i knew this was a bad idea game two coming up in a second okay for game number two i let the average player quote unquote select a brawler to play and they both selected or he decided to play Stu. decided that that was a better matchup and here we go both players trying oh rx had his super in hand not able to get the job done right now both players are kind of just shooting their shots trying to get their super bobby gets his super slides in gets a couple of shots down rx finding some damage as well bobby picks up the first kill of the game and you can just see small oh the launch pad he's launch padding oh he's a lunatic takes out bobby's gear and i don't think bobby was he was completely caught off by the launch pad play which is a bit uh it's a bit mickey mouse but we'll let it go for now bobby flipping sliding finds another kill so he has the perfect distance mapped out to where rx can't hit him but bobby can hit him and it seems like that is a big difference maker in these plays is the spacing between the engagement is is what i'm learning is really crucial uh bobby off to another great victory for himself i'm sure he's super happy about this uh and that'll be the end of that okay our next contestant are Corey from tribe gaming who has also played in the world championship and then we have oh they have the bots on okay here we go we have our next contestants on deck we've got Corey from tribe gaming who you guessed it has also played in the world championship going up against physics who is uh you know a subscriber of mine and also does my thumbnail sometimes so anyway he's fighting for a brawl pass here he's fighting for the pride and for the sharpshooter round we have bell and i we've done colt we've done uh we've done piper and i feel like bell and byron and maybe brock are all up next but anyway both both of these guys are kind of weak on health physics getting pinned down in the corner what i'm noticing that a lot of the pro players do is they steadily move up while hitting their shots and that's gonna be the first kill for Corey, zoning out physics entirely he's got the spacing down he's got the movement i mean okay here we go this is where physics needs to go he, he got one tap on the Corey, and then he needs to step up and get more aggressive as the more shots he hits there, there's another one he's got him on the ropes oh he steps on the mine before he knows it physics tags him could be it oh if he walks backwards onto that mine i'm gonna shed actual tears physics picks up the kill he ties it up at one one this guy's a legend he makes thumbnails and he makes professional players cry live on the live on the field uh <laughs> Jokes aside, this is actually going really well so far. Fit is Corey lagging? Did Corey try and stutter step him? 39 health and bell marked. Physics could sneeze in his direction and Corey might die. But both players are going to take a step back here and grab their health. And uh, Physics is in a powerful spot here. He does have 
the bell mark onto him. Unfortunately, going to get tagged a couple of times. Down to 800 health right now. He's regening as he moves. Corey landing a couple of shots. We have both of them are tied. Corey takes the lead with 10 seconds left. And as long as physics, or as long as Corey can stay alive here, he will win the first round. Steps on the bell mine. A bit of an unfortunate step there. And overall, a really, really competitive match. Very well played. We'll see what they decide to go with in the next round. Okay, here we go into our next game. They decided to go with Colt, which is another sharpshooter, a high skill brawler. Physics going into some dangerous territory, going against a professional player and deciding to go with Colt here. He's flexing his pew pew emote. We get it, bro. We understand. I don't have it and he has it. And that's unfortunate. Anyway, both players hitting shots. Corey catches him with the full clip, netting the first kill of the game and uh yeah so Corey's off to a great start physics not out of this yet he's been able to land a bunch of shots so far both players wiggling clearly copied my movement style oh okay physics did not copy my movement style right there physics is getting bombarded with bullets manages to escape the full clip but Corey feeling dangerous here no shot that physics can come back from this and it's a bit unfortunate he thinks that he's playing for a brawl pass if he wins a round and he loses 2-0 so the pros take another one but honestly everyone that plays is getting a brawl pass so okay guys we have our final event for the video we've got og the old man the ancient grandpa bringing out the piper going against swaggy xo who's already tapped and it's already oh he fires back this is looking good we're looking good i need our subscribers to win one we gotta have a higher reputation guys why it gets tapped again on 400 health forced to retreat he's got to stand still and wait in the back up here unfortunately eaters a little too close og just sends it and he kills him. unfortunately Swag did not have super to get away from that. And OG is absolutely relentless. If you guys didn't know, OG is very noted for playing Piper at an insanely high level. His spike and his Piper are like two of the best. And uh, yeah, so Swag finds himself down one nothing. Not the worst situation. Not like our other contestants who, who have died four times by now. He's only down by one single kill. So this is doable. He's just got to land his shots. A little bit of back and forth movement. Uh, it looks like oh, not able to land anything. He kind of has OG. Or, or OG kind of has him pinned back right now. Uh, he's got to get a tap. And then he's got to get aggressive. Unfortunately, Schwag gets tapped once. He taps OG, but OG finds a kill, making it two to zero. And boy, oh boy, this is not looking good for our subscribers. I, I tried my best, okay? Schwag's going to have to either go God mode or he's going to have to pick a unique brawler for the second round here. The old man, the ancient boomer, is going to take game one. And we'll just have to hop back in and see what Schwag picks for game two. Okay, round two. Here we go, guys. Let's see what they decided to go with for brawler composition. They decided to go with Carl? What a weird, goofy brawler. Uh... I guess it is what it is. We're just gonna have to sit here and watch and see what happens. I don't I've never seen a Carl 1v1 in my days. But look, guys, as a community, this is where we let Swag represent us and pop off here and hopefully take one round at least. Every other pro has swept my subscribers and beaten them to a pulp, if I'm honest. And it hasn't been great, but OG already has Swag pinned against the wall back here. Let's see if he can find a way out. OG getting some easy damage right there. Dodge and swag shot. Finds more damage. Still hasn't taken a single hit yet. He has the molten rocks. What is going on? Oh my gosh. OG able to net the first kill here. And uh, I don't know if swag has landed a single shot yet. So I don't know what I've put my subscribers up to today. But hey, look, they're getting a brawl pass. And honestly, that's okay. That's great for the holiday season. OG looks like he's just burning him alive in the corner. And uh, I'll have to hold this up here. OG spinning in, picking up another kill, making this one two to nothing. And he's off to a hot start. You guys can look off the video now. It's fine. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, regardless, look, we have OG and Schwag. He can still win this. There's still 30 seconds left. Schwag literally just needs to start hitting his shots. Um, I, I don't think... Like, the fact that Schwag is having such a, a hard time hitting him is a testament to how, like, far ahead some of the pro players' movement is. Like, 
using his super not able to get anything done og able to capitalize there very efficiently used super combination and with 14 seconds left it's looking a little grim for us as a community uh yeah five seconds four seconds this is end boys all of my subscribers got swept well guys us as a community got swept every single pro won every match two to nothing and we got beat to a pulp honestly we just need to step our game up and maybe we'll get them next time but anyway guys thanks for watching i really appreciate you guys taking the time remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace